Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Craniac Gaming. We're back with the Colorado State Dynasty here on NCAA Football 14. And we're back at 500 finally. And we're one win away from bowl eligibility. But we'll have to get past Utah State this week. We're sitting at 6 and 4. And make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the sub button if you're new as well. Also, click on that notification bell to join the notification gang. Last time out, we were just barely able to beat New Mexico. 28-21 to 21 was the final over there. And honestly, we struggled with a team that we should have handled going away. So I can't really be too mad that Kirk Herbstreet has Utah State winning this game. Although you could make the argument that on paper we're the better team. But we'll have to see what happens on the field, honestly. We did struggle, like I said, against New Mexico, but that doesn't mean we'll struggle in this game. But there's only one way to find out, guys. Again, one win away from being pole eligible. And I'm going to keep it real with you guys. In this video, there were a lot of glitches. A lot of plays got cut out, so that's why this video is so short. But Dax Raymond going to run into the end zone for the touchdown. Gives Utah State a 7-0 lead. Now, here's Tyler Smith with a big return up the right sideline. Gets into Utah State territory up to about the 40-yard line. A 66-yard return. So we have great field position to start our first drive of the game. But then Colin Hill going to get hit as he throws. Incomplete. And we go three and out. Utah State does nothing with the ball. We get down the field. Then on a second and 18, Colin Hill going to find Nico Hall in the end zone for the touchdown. We tie the ball game up at seven apiece. Now here's Utah State on third and six. Jordan Love going to find Vaughn's, but Vaughn's going to be stopped well short of the first down marker. Utah State has to put it away. Then first play of the next drive, Colin Hill goes down for the sack. So now we face a third and 17. Hill just going to check it down to Izzy Matthews. He's going to be well short of the first down, and we have to put it away. So now Utah State ball first and 10. Here's Jordan Love under pressure, brought down for the sack. And now they face a the second and 18. Here's Love going to throw over the middle, finds Dax Raymond. Raymond going to break a tackle, breaks another one, or, or it looked like he did at least. Goes out of bounds on third and eight. Love throws over the middle. He finds Ron Quavion Tarver, who gets the first down. And now Utah State facing another third and six. And this time, Green makes the grab into Colorado State territory for another first down. Under a minute to go in the first. Here's Love scrambling. And he's real athletic, by the way, as Hawkins smacks him. But Love still gets the first down. Now, second and 14. Here's the throw left side to Raymond. Raymond breaks a tackle. He's off to the races. Can he get to the end zone? No, he cannot. He's pushed out of bounds at the 12-yard line. Utah State would end up having to settle for a field goal, and they get it. So now it's 10 to 7. We face the third and six. Hill going to check it down to Cameron Butler, but he's going to be two yards shy of the first down marker. So we get three and out. Utah State with the football now, and in love going to be intercepted by VJ Banks. Usually Banks is getting burned. He actually got burned on the play I didn't show you guys. But we're not going to talk about that. As Tyler Smith able to get his foot down for the first down. And then Izzy Matthews going to punch it into the end zone for the touchdown. Gives us a 14-10 lead about midway through the second quarter. And Utah State drives down the field yet again. Here's a first and 10. And Tarver makes the grab. Gets inside the 20. Up to about the 11 yard line. And they'll get the ball at about the 6. After a face mask call. So now first and goal. Here's Love. Gonna scramble and he punches it into the end zone for the touchdown. And Utah State takes the lead right back. So now we have the football second and 10. Izzy Matthews off to the races. Gonna get inside the 30 yard line of Utah State, a 35 yard gain. Then on third and three, Nico Hall able to make his second touchdown grab of the game. We take the lead back, it's 21 to 17 now. So we're just going back and forth here. Here's Love, throws right side, and he's gonna be intercepted by Jamal Hicks. And nobody's going to be able to catch him. He's going to get to the end zone for the touchdown. And we take an 11-point lead with about a minute and a half left in the half. And now a second and five. Here's Love. He's going to let it fly. And he's going to be intercepted by Anthony Hawkins. But look at this. He gets caught in some kind of animation. Just runs all the way back into the end zone for a safety. It's like I kept pushing on the left stick forward. But he kept going backwards, I guess, because of the animation he was in. But because of the animation, we're down 28 to 19. But in the words of Rashid Wallace, ball don't lie. 
We're going to force a fumble on the safety punt, and we get the ball back now. On the very next play, Colin Hill taking a deep shot to Preston Williams, and he comes down within the end zone for another touchdown, third passing touchdown of the game for Hill. And again, ball don't lie. We go into the half up 35-19, to and a very interesting first half to say the very least. So we get the ball to start the second half. Hill going to roll out to his right. He's under pressure, tries to get away, but he's caught from behind for a nine-yard loss. Now he faces second and 19. Play fake by Hill, and he's going to be brought down again as he tried to dump it off to McElroy, but he just couldn't get it away. So now we face a third and 30. A little check down to Williams, and Williams has some blocks. Picks up 22 yards, but we needed 30, so we go three and out on the first drive of the second half. Now, second and 11 for Utah State. Here's Love trying to scramble. Hawkins misses him. Banks can't bring him down. And he's going to get up to about the 38-yard line. Big first down for Love. And on the third and four, El Toro Allen gets brought down for no gain, and they have to put it away. So now he faces a third and five. A little screen pass to Matthews, and it didn't work out very well for us. That's why I don't run too many screens. But we go three and out. Now, a second and 10. Here's Love. Going to break a tackle, and he gets up to about the 34, 33-yard line. And a new set of downs for the Aggies. Love on the option. Going to pitch it out to Hawkins. He breaks the tackle, and he gets it up for the first down up to about the 45-yard line. There's a second and 13, and Love going to be intercepted again, this time by Josh Watson. And Watson's going to get a pick six of his own as nobody's able to get to him. Five turnovers by Utah State as a team. Four interceptions by Love. He's not having a very good game at all. Now, third and five, and Love hits Hawkins in the helmet, and Utah State goes straight out. So now here's Matthews running to the left side, and Izzy is getting busy. Gets up to about the 16-yard line, a 37-yard run. Now he faces a third and three. We give it to Marvin Kinsey, and he only gains the yard. That's probably why he doesn't get too many carries at all. Then on fourth and two, we decide to go for it. We find B.C. Johnson for the first down. And on the very next play, Matthew's going to punch it in for the touchdown as we're just completely embarrassing Utah State in this one. 49-19 is the score. Utah State facing a fourth and three, and Thompson going to be stopped short of the first down marker. And this is really the last play I really need to show you guys as we just dominated in this one as Marcus McElroy gets into the end zone for the touchdown. And just like that, we are bowl eligible now as we completely embarrass Utah State on their home field. 56-19 is your final. Colin Hill with a much better game this week. 12 for 18, 151 yards and three touchdowns. KJ Carter Samuels, 4 for 7, 38 yards as he got some action in the fourth quarter. And Izzy Matthews, 9 carries, 81 yards, and 2 touchdowns. Marcus McElroy, not a great game for him. 11 carries, 25 yards, but he did get into the end zone. And receiving-wise, Preston Williams, 3 catches, 70 yards, and a touchdown. Nico Hall, 3 catches, 31 yards, and 2 touchdowns. And I definitely like what I see from Nico Hall. BC Johnson's going to be leaving after this year, so he's going to have to step up into being the number two receiver next season as Preston Williams will still be the number one receiver next year. But a really good game. Four interceptions by this defense. One forced fumble as well. And it almost made me forget about the ridiculous safety that happened near the end of the second half. Or first half, that is, the second quarter. But at the end of the day, I'm really impressed with how the defense played for the most part. The offense played perfectly as well. Even though time of possession wasn't really in our favor at all, just kept forcing turnovers, kept scoring so quickly that it didn't even really matter. But anyways, we are now bowl eligible. And if you guys want to find out how you can pick up one of the recruits in this series, you guys are going to have to join my Discord server for that. The link is going to be in the description. And please follow the guidelines or I will not make your player. Straight up. But yeah, the link's going to be in the description for my discord server that's where you guys are going to create your players from now on make sure you guys hit that like button hit the sub button if you're new as well click on the notification bell so you guys can join the notification gang and if you guys want to support the channel in a more personal way make sure you guys pledge to me on patreon the link's going to be in the description as always and you guys have yourselves a wonderful rest of your day night or whenever you're watching this and like i always say guys no matter what happens make sure you guys keep that mofo rolling I'm out of here. Deuces.
got They trying to turn me to a monster Every year I'm a conquer Okay, see, I bring the thunder Walking in humble I leave my homies Sting you like Bumble Running with pride Ten over eyes through a bliss I don't fumble blind my